doing the interview now. Oh, with oh, <laughs> <laughs> Get all our ducks and all, you know. Right. I'm Dave Sider, baby. This is Call of the Wild. This is for Rock Radio UK. And I'm speaking to the fantastic Muddy Brook. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. You all right? You all right, Dave? I'm all right. It's been a while, hasn't it, eh? Was it Rock and Blues a couple of years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we saw it briefly um, on the Wayward Sun store. Yeah, briefly on the boat. Yeah. Yeah, That was mental, though. It was a mental. I saw you struggling at those steps with loads of kit. Mm. A lot of steps. Oh, They were really, like... Yeah, they were lethal. Well. They were. Stepping yeah. on my dress as well, so I kept going. Oh, I didn't like to say that. On the way yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just come off tour with uh, Wayward Sons. Obviously, that was January. Was yeah. it that long ago? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel like it, does it? No. Well, January seemed to stretch on for years and years and years, and the rest yeah. of the year has gone quite quickly. So, yeah. so what is occurring in the Muddy Brook camp? Oh, lots of things, really. Um, so at the moment, we're not gigging so much because we're concentrating on recording and, and writing and, and all yeah. that. Yeah. You know, musician. Musician things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Yeah. But yeah, we, we are. We're doing something like demos at the moment, ready for a debut album. Oh, yes. excited. This is good news indeed. So, I mean, there, there was a single out recently, Float. Yes, yeah. no. there. Uh, anything new on the horizon, single wise? Single wise, yeah, we've, we've got a few in the pipeline. We're not going to give too much away. Just no, nobody listens, tell me. The one man and the sheep in the field were here. <laughs> That's true. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> But um, so things are progressing forward to uh, quite a rate of knots. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's, at the moment, it's nice to actually write and get some stuff written because once we're on tour or doing a lot of gigs, I feel like we, I can't get in that mindset to write so much. Right. So it's nice to have that little bit of a break from gigging here yeah. um, constantly anyway to actually get in that mindset and do a bit of writing. Okay. okay. And uh, how are you? I haven't really spoken to you. How are you? How are I'm you? I'm good, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Looking, looking pretty much said. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm well looking very well. Okay. All right. Moving back. <laughs> no, 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 please, please. Sure. I'll say some more. Um, <laughs> Morgan might jump on you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you mu- you must deserve a medal with these two ladies in the band. <laughs> you don't need a medal. Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are, we have a real good laugh, genuinely. Like, yeah, all the time. It's it's great fun. So, I, I really did love you uh, opening from Wayward Sons. You seem to look like you're all having the best time. Yeah, so we just yeah. had Huddersfield. I think Huddersfield was probably my favourite match. Right. I just it was just the energy and like the room yes. was just was so good. good. Yeah. I mean they were all really fun nights, but like yeah, Huddersfield just had something about it. Yeah. What it was. Okay. And KK Steel Hill. Yeah, that was also very good. To be honest, it's a really nice good. venue, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I do yeah. like KK. So wait, really away from the South West. Really people as well. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. But, then I think they all each night had a thing about it. So I feel like Feckler was just so cool, like the, being on a boat and yeah. um, oh, the actual venue is just amazing yeah, in it's itself. It's like life things. You know, like, yeah. Like on a boat, yeah. On a boat. <laughs> yeah. I'm the really yeah. bad sailor, so I don't like boats. He says. Yeah. And then there's me thinking, gosh, maybe a river boat would be a nice place to live. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean it is a lovely venue. Um, I, mean, I don't know if you saw the bar, it's like Copper Top Bar. Yes. Yeah. Where long. It's like, it's so well done. There's a lot of little quirky things about it. But you've got to be done by 10 because they've got a club night afterwards. Yeah, yeah. it's complicated getting there as well. Like, usually, because I'm doing the driving, I, I look on Google Maps and, and work out where I'm going to park, wherever we, anywhere we play. Yeah. And when I, when I tried to find Thekler on Google Maps, on Street View, it mm. wasn't there. <laughs> it sailed somewhere. I'm like, maybe that's where it should be. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, that's some good banter. So uh, are you planning on doing a few more gigs there in the autumn? winter time 
Yeah, yeah, we've got them lined up. Yeah, we've got just push play and uh, it's most August push play and uh, rock, uh, pride rock on the same right. day. That's pride rock, right. yeah, that's yeah. Gonna that's gonna be a bit mental, isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah. We're playing at two p.m. In Brighton, and yeah, we're playing at six p.m. Well, we're gonna be there at six in uh, Barry St Edmunds, so that's. Yeah. It might be a short set then. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> going to be a mad one, but we'll do it. Mm. Yeah, touch wood. Touch wood. Yeah. Touch wood. So um, I can't push you anymore on the album then. How about you? You can tell me about the album. <laughs> well, what is it you want to know? Everything. Everything. Everything, everything, you, everything you want to tell me. There's going to be some very nice songs on it. Mm-hmm. And I think, everyone, I think everyone's going to like it. Uh, I expect there'll be some outstanding drumming as well. Perhaps I'll yeah. do my best. Yeah, actually, I could say you, you're the only person I've managed to catch on drums without a symbol yeah. for a head <laughs> as, as a photographer. So it's, it's yeah, right. that's a, yeah. like a win for me. Yeah, maybe I've, not necessarily for you, but I, I try and put them to one side so I can actually see who I'm playing to every now and then. So, yeah, maybe it's that. Okay, so mm-hmm. what else is occurring? Come on, you've got to tell me some juicy gossip. Yeah. Come on. Oh, well, we're just we're just writing, and we're just we're writing with a lot of different people at the moment. Okay, so you're bringing outside influences in. Yeah, into- yeah. We, well, we wrote Seller. It's not new to us. We wrote Seller with um, a guy from a band called Lost Alone. I don't know if yeah. you've heard of them, but they're from Derby, and they've just come off tour with uh, My Chemical Romance. And, right. And he's writing an album with McFly at the moment, so it's cool to write. Yeah. Okay. It's cool to write Seller with him, uh, but we're writing with other people at the moment. And, um, this new one called Money mm. is with um, two guys called Super. They call themselves Supertonic, and they right. write for Disney and adverts and things. So, and, and hits. So it's it's nice to okay. it's nice to experience writing with a lot of different people because you, you I I feel like I'm learning a lot writing with different people mm. and how they work in a yeah. way. It's taking out your own way of writing and seeing how someone else does it. Okay, okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Learning on the So I'm just thinking aloud here. So it's an album, so it's going to be some bit touring as well. So the next step is uh, touring abroad and places like that. Well, uh, we would love to. Nothing, nothing's booked yet, but we'd love to get to like Holland, Germany, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think you do well in, in Europe. Mm. This is anywhere in Europe, really. That would be great. Mm. Yeah. But apparently Germany's a really, really great place to gig. Like yeah. a, a, anyone I've spoken to that's gigged in Germany has just said the hospitality is just amazing for yeah. any musicians and stuff. So I'd love to do Germany. Yeah. I mean, anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and Japan as well. They seem to oh, like, love it. So it's like, I would love to play Japan. Like, yeah, that would be, I would be like, really cool. That's one of the bucket lists. Yeah. yeah. That would be a dream, definitely. Okay, so what's the plans for the rest of the day? You've done your set. We're having a few drinks. Yeah, well, I've got a couple more interviews to do, and uh, um, yeah, just uh, just wandering about, Chill. having a drink. Chill. It's quite yeah. rare we My get to like cider. drink. Uh, ask if yeah. you want to endorse us. Or, you know, so. Look, I've been trying to get endorsement from the cider farm for years. It'd be so unfair if my video gets you. Um, Endorsement, but I wish be. you the best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no, yeah, I do wish you the best of luck, and, and thank you I, for taking the time to speak because I know we've chatted before and we're you know, sort of friends. And I, well, I like to think we're friends. Yeah. It's, it's nice to catch up. It's just, you know, it's our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. long lost cousins. Well, no, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, no, I wish you all the best. I'm really looking forward to an album. So, no pressure, guys. It's got to be good. <laughs> okay, and uh, I will see you guys again, hopefully in the summer, somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's a bit sunny. Yeah, it's not really. Yeah. It's really bright, though. Like, yeah, no, I think it might be my shirt. Yeah, maybe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at you. <laughs> uh, most people say that. <laughs> Doesn't matter what time of day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.